Hello everyone. Uh, this is uh, Ekta Prakash from DEED and I'm the Director of Public Engagement and I will be presenting uh, the community reviewer process for DEED competitive grants. Uh, what are the grant making values and the main purpose of this review process? Our goal is to seek comprehensive reviewers from diverse background and lived experiences who demonstrate a good understanding of the community needs and barriers, advance equitable decision making process, by engaging beneficiaries of the program and community members who have a stake in program advancement. Engage stakeholders who have past and present experiences and has capacity to review materials. Community reviewers offer an outside perspective and professional experience related to the request for proposal. What are some of the benefits of using community reviewers for the process? It brings a fresh perspective to the program and insight with a specific background and expertise. It increases diversity, equity, inclusion in the grant making process and awards. It also brings accountability to Minnesotans for the grant making process by engaging and being inclusive. Reviewers are matched to the RFP who have experience related to those RFP. And the goal is to have about 25% reviewers from the community for each competitive RFP. What do you need to be a community reviewer? Uh, you need to be a Minnesota resident, access to computer with an internet connection and uh, computer skills and technology, ability to read and speak in English because proposal will be in English, experience and background in workforce development related, youth, education, training, small business, uh, lending CDFI and similar area of expertise. Committed to completing all aspects of grant application review, reading about 10 to 12 proposals in a period of 15 to 20 day timeline from August to September. Proposals are usually 12 to 15 pages in length with additional documents. Every reviewer must be registered with the state system for payment in order to be eligible to receive a stipend. The community reviewer orientation. Once you apply for the reviewer process application, the program grant coordinator contacts the selected reviewer and invites them to the specific RFP webinar. The program coordinator provides program overview, review the RFP, introduces reviewers to the technology they will be using and all the expectations and goals. SharePoint is used to coordinate the review materials and it requires unique permission for reviewer groups for privacy. As much as possible, we want to avoid sharing any documents via email. The review process. Once assigned to a group, the reviewer will retrieve their assigned proposal, score sheets in the SharePoint. Reviewers will read and score proposals and email their completed score sheets to the coordinator. In some departments and programs, reviewers will participate in a group recommendation session, including community reviewers. The program coordinator will compile the scores and provide award recommendation to the commissioner. The final decisions are at commissioner's discretion. Few upcoming competitive grants for this competitive review process uh, for late summer, fall, and winter for 2023 and 24 includes Southeast Asian Equity Grant, Women's Economic Security Act, On the Ramp to Career Pathways, Bridge to Career Pathways, Individual Training Pathways, Adult Support Services, Getting to Work, Small Business Assistance Partnership, Launch Minnesota Entrepreneur Education Partnership Grant, and drive a five. The timeline. Once again, from August to September, respond to the reviewer application. The reviewer application closes on August 15th at 4.30. Once you apply, you'll be selected and the program coordinator will contact you for the selected RFP to review and they will be hosting a technical assistance training from the program coordinator. The timeline is August 17th for the upcoming RFP training August 23rd, 31st, and October 17th. From September to October, the whole phase from applying for the reviewer getting selected, the eligible reviewer will need to register with the state to be eligible for stipend. Community reviewers will be assigned to a specific grant review, attend reviewer training, session for a specific RFP, complete the conflict of interest form, review and score the grants, and return proposals and score sheet to deed. So mark it down on your calendar. These are important timeline and thank you so much for this small webinar. 
Uh, thanks. Goodbye.